This move by President Yoon Suk Yeol to really warm up ties with Japan, not necessarily popular domestically in South Korea. Very unpopular. Actually, President Yoon, he was already suffering from low popularity, and his polls went down after he made this decision to improve ties with Japan. But why did he have to do this then? He's actually a believer in having future-oriented relationship with Japan. He came into office saying, I want to strengthen relationship with the United States. We want South Korea to be a global pivotal state, and we want to improve relationship with Japan. And as you know, Korea-Japan relationship in recent years was a historic low. I mean, they always had tense relationship, but last several years, it's been really bad. Which has been such a headache for Washington, right? How well does this bode for President Biden? For Washington, for United States, we want nothing more than our closest allies in the region, two liberal, mature democracies to get along. We have so many issues to deal with. So this has always been a concern for the United States. So we welcome it. Washington, of course, welcomes President Yoon's really bold decision to improve ties with Japan. There are clear strategic benefits to this. How much political support is there domestically? He doesn't have a whole lot of support. The opposition party um, and opposition leaders always it's already criticizing President Yoon. Domestically, it's also an unpopular decision. But look, I mean, North Korea tested some 100 missiles, some 70 ballistic missiles last year, 30 tests this year. They are expanding and modernizing their du nuclear and missile uh, program, WMD. And so North Korea is going to be continually doing this, right? They're on this path for more, more provocations and, and um, expanding their WMD. So there's really a, a reason for South Korea and Japan to work together, right? They need to do more intelligence sharing, more exercises, and work together to deal with the North Korean threat. Of course, the North Korean threat, but also the wish more broadly to contain a rising China, right, both in terms of these uh, trade constraints when it comes to chips and broader regional security. How big is the appetite on both of these countries in terms of that China containment strategy and how challenging is it given that Beijing remains the biggest trade partner for both? It's very challenging. I think it's more challenging even for South Korea. You just mentioned China is South Korea's number one trading partner. China, South Korea trade volume is double that of South Korea, Japan, South Korea, U.S. combined. So South Korea has always been sort of hedging between U.S. and China, just walking the very fine line. But it is a very big concern. Um, and, you know, President Yoon really wants more value-based foreign policy and work with like-minded allies. So China, you mentioned Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The region is very complex, complicated. And we have North Korea's expanding WMDs. So this is why I say there's every reason for South Korea and Japan to work together. And this is really a, you know, a great opportunity. But again, it's not going to be easy because domestically, this is not a popular issue in South Korea. Which makes me think, how long will this detente really last? Given that, remember, during the Moon Jae-in administration, we have sort of some resolution with the issue of comfort women, women uh, conscripted for sex, sex slaves, uh, essentially. And that really went nowhere. Yes, that, that historic deal over comfort women was concluded under the Park geun administration. And when Moon Jae-in came in, he scrapped the deal. So that is sort of what the memory that the, the Japanese think about. So Japanese have been very cautious this time around. And as you know, we know we have a domestically, this is an unpopular issue. We also have a National Assembly election next year in April. Um, so that all depends like what happens with that election. However, President Yoon at least has four more years. So hopefully, Japan and Korea can get somewhere before perhaps it changes again to progressive administration and then we're at that stage again where, you know, we have to rethink about the issues. And How does the Korean public feel about China? Because here in the U.S., it seems there is bipartisan consensus now, at least in one thing, which is containing the rise of Beijing. So it's very interesting. Um, again, China is South Korea's number one trading partner, hugely important economically. But China right now is very unpopular in terms of public perception. It's actually one of the lowest in the worldwide survey. South, uh, the view of perception of China is lowest in South Korea. And this all came about after China boycotted and sanctioned South Korean firms over that the missile battery de deployment. Um, and so South Korean view of the public perception of China is very low. It's even lower than Japan. Mm. 
Oh, interesting. Yes. I wonder if that actually helps the Yun It does somewhat, but yeah. we do need Japanese Prime Minister to, Japan to play a little bit of a positive role, knowing that President Yun is a very difficult spot, like help us out here a little bit. 